So last weekend, I was working on my Divi University website. So I have quite a few pages that I need to add on that website. So when I added these pages to the menu, I went and previewed the site and noticed that there were two lines that were added because the menu was too short to have all those pages. So I was stressing, thinking, right, what plugin am I going to use to resolve this? Because obviously it didn't look really nice. So it just dawned on me that actually there's a very easy way to create a mega menu using Divi. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I managed to create this mega menu. And trust me, it's very, very easy. So that's what this tutorial is about. Okay, so as you can see, every time I add a new page, it's forming this line right here at the bottom. And it's quite confusing and it doesn't really look pleasing to the eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mega menu and I'll show you step by step how to do it. So let's dive in and let me show you how to do that. So first of all, make sure that you're logged into your WordPress admin dashboard. So as you can see right here, I am logged in. So the first thing I'm going to do is to come here to appearance and then click on menus. So what you want to do here in the menus is to create a brand new menu. So what you want to do here is to create to click on here on this link, which says create a new menu. So I'm going to click on that once. So let's call this my mega menu like that. And then I'm going to click on create menu. Okay, so now that we have this menu, what we need to do is to add all the items onto this menu. So you can start off by adding pages that you already have on your website, or you can start adding brand new ones. So here I can go ahead and click on custom links. So this is where I'll add, say, my own links that I need to add on the menu, which I don't necessarily have as pages. So here I'm just going to give this a blank link for now. So I want to call this link resources. And then I'm going to click on add to menu. So now you can see we have a custom menu. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come here to pages. And then I'm going to add the pages that we already have. So I've got DV shop, I've got register. I've got login, I've got contact blog. Okay, so I'm going to click on add to menu. Now the mega menu actually works if you have quite a lot of pages, as I've shown you in the last um, example. So if you have a few pages, I mean, that shouldn't be a problem for you. So now that you can see that we have all these pages here, the next thing you need to do is to start uh, arranging them in the order that you want. So here I've got very few links, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over and show you a mega menu that I created before, because this is going to take me a lot of time while you're watching just to me to see me repeat this stage over and over again. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on mega menu and I'm going to click on select. Actually, it's mega, so I'm going to click on select. So we can see here, this is where I've added all the pages that I need to show on my website. Now, here's the very, very important thing. In fact, um, before I can explain, let me just show you how this works. So before, these pages are all just like all in a straight line like this. So what you want to do is to choose the page which needs to specify the category. So the categories that I have here are blog, member, courses, and about us. So how to move these to, sh uh, to make them show as sub menus, you can just click and just drag to the right like that. But make sure you don't go too far because you want to make sure that this they're right under that section. Okay, so I'm just going to do the final one here. So if you drag it too far like that, all you need to do is just to, you know, uh, drag it back back in place like that. So now um, we can see that um, the start here, I mean, in fact, you can name this anything. I mean, you can always go in there and you can actually call it menu if you want. So I think menu works much better. So I'm just going to type in menu in caps like that. And then I'm just going to close it. Okay, so now the next thing you, you want to do is to make sure that everything, all these pages, go under the menu. So I'm just going to drag this to the right like that. So now you can see menu 
I mean about us and all these pages below it are now under menu. And now you need to do the same for all the other sections. I hope you can follow this because um, if you don't get this right, the uh, mega menu won't work. So here, I'll just go through it one more time. So the mega menu is the, I mean, so this menu is the main thing and then everything else goes under that. And then here I've actually laid out my section. So about us has uh, these three pages, blog has these pages, member and courses. Okay, so now that we have that in place, what we need to do next is to just quickly save because it's important that we save this. Okay, so now that it's saved, we need to go to manage locations and make this mega the main menu. Okay, so here as the primary menu, sorry. So here the primary menu is set to main menu. So we need to make sure that it's set to mega, which is the one that I've just made some changes to. So your menu may have a different name. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save changes. So this should now show as my primary menu. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come here to my website, refresh this, and hopefully all this should go. And it is. So now we can see we have menu. Now the problem is the menu is actually working, but it's not showing as a mega menu because ideally we want this whole menu to come right below here. Okay. So to do that, it's, it's quite, it's quite uh, straightforward. All we have to do is to add some CSS. So let's go back to edit menus. We're going to come here to custom custom link. So we can see here we don't have we don't have the uh, CSS option. So what we're going to do is to come here to screen options and then we're going to click on CSS classes. OK, that's very important. And then I'm just going to close that. OK, so now that we have uh, CSS classes in place, I'm going to come over here to the menu. And then now we can see we have the CSS classes. So now you can just type in mega menu like that. Let's close this and let's go ahead and save. Okay, so now let's go back to our uh, front end of the site and let's refresh this. So now if I test this, this should work. And yes, it's working. So you can see now that uh, as soon as I mouse over the menu, we have these four areas, the about us, the blog, the member and the courses. So that's pretty cool. So that's how you create a mega menu. So you can also go ahead and do some changes here in the uh, theme options. So let me show you quickly how to do that. Okay, so um, let's go to Divi, theme customizer. Right, so if we come here to header and navigation, this is where you can do all your changes now. So if you want to change the colors of these links, you can go ahead and do that. It's quite straightforward. So I'm going to click on primary menu bar and we can see here the drop down menu. We can actually change that color. Let's make it slightly lighter and you can see now the color changes straight away. OK, that's pretty cool. So there's a lot you can do here to customize this, but uh, the best thing to do here is to just make sure that whatever customizations you're doing matches with your uh, website branding. So if you prefer to have a transparent a transparent mega menu, you can always go ahead and make the changes here. So if you if I drag this here, you're getting more transparency. So if I do that, you can see now that that image is showing in the background. But in this case, this is not what I this is not what I want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to make a few more tweaks here, and I'll just leave this alone. Okay, so this is how pretty much we create a mega menu. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on save and publish. Okay, so that's done. So the main trick here is just to make sure that everything goes under this main item that you choose to be the menu. And then and then once you have that in place, this is what makes the mega menu work. So there you have it. This is how you create a mega menu using Divi. It's pretty straightforward. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also do share this video. It helps spread the word. And also do go on diviuniversity.com. This is where we'll, I'll be hosting most of my shows and 